Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It has been a while, I know, and I do apologize for that. Um, it's been even longer since I've actually been in front of the camera. Uh, usually I have made my videos and just produced them without actually speaking, but just kind of showing the information. But um, <clears throat> I just wanted to take the time, first of all, just to welcome you back to my channel. And thank you guys for staying with me and sticking with my channel. And I do plan to do much, much better in the future to produce more content and get more videos out to you guys. Um, I felt compelled today to make this video because I'm, you know, just like most people in the Flat Earth community, we have heard the sad news about the passing of Rob Skiba. And even though we know that he is now with the Lord, no more pain, no more suffering, just joy, joy, joy. Um, you know, it's still the humanity in us. Um, we still feel... Um, saddened by you know just the news and we're praying for his family his wife his son um or i'm sorry if it's not a son but his child um and all of his family um who are still here um and his friends of course just praying for their their strength and that god just touches them and just helps them through this difficult time but as far as how Rob has impacted my life. Um, you know, when I first started um, watching videos about the Flat Earth, um, he was definitely one of the pioneers who I tuned into to get more information and just to um, kind of find out all there was to know. And I love the fact that he correlated everything with the Bible. You know, as a Christian, I love the fact that he just, you know, brought it back to scripture to prove it from there. And as well as through scientific experiments, which he did, he used actual science, observation and testing. And um, one of the videos that he did was dealing with perspective. I remember showing the sun and he had like a magnifying um glass or not a glass but a sort of like a, um, a screen that m was magnified and it showed the lensing effect of you know what the atmosphere does to the sun or anything going off into the distance of how it makes it look you know loom and um, look like it's going down when it's actually going further away you know into the distance and I thought that was so cool and um, I was just like now how can anyone deny this after watching this, you know, I said he has explained what we are actually observing when we see the sunset. But, um, you know, he, he just, he did so many great things, has so many videos. And of course, I tuned into like all of his videos, well, most of them dealing with the Nephilim and um, how he explained that and went through the book of Enoch, excuse me, and the Bible about, you know, um, the sons of God and how they came down during Noah's before the flood and um, you know they had children and there were giants and there you know so all of those things that had that have just you know the church most churches do not go into a deep um, study of that you know they just kind of um, they say oh yeah they were like maybe seven feet tall eight feet tall you know the giants and or or they'll say the sons of god were actually you know godly men just just regular men who were just godly but you know i i never believed that i i was taught the right the correct way because of my pastor so a lot of the things that rob would um say and he would um teach you know and he would just kind of go through the scriptures and the different books and, and yeah, it resonated with me because I, I was kind of on that path anyways. And so it just reaffirmed things, but I was just, you know, just so in awe of just how he could just bring everything to life and the way that his method, his style of teaching was so great. You know, it was just like captivating, very captivating. You just, you're like, wow. Yeah. And it just really did make you want to get into that scripture and or the scriptures and just really read and dig and you know learn as much as you could um but you know but uh, as i said i could just go on and on but i i just wanted to you know give my 
um, my tribute, I guess, to Rob Skiba for all he's done in the Flat Earth community and just in, in his life. And I, I'm so sorry that I never got to meet him in person. Um, I'm from North Carolina, but I live in South Carolina. And um, when they had their first Flat Earth conference, I wasn't able to attend it. And I, you know, I regretted it then and I regret it now even more. But um, I just, once again, prayers to his family and his um friends and everyone in his life that he's touched and just within the flat earth community you know just healing and blessings and prayers for everyone okay so the other aspect of this was that i wanted to be de dealing with the perspective that rob helped to highlight and show and to experiment and actually um demonstrate demonstrate which is something that is alien to most globe earth believers he demonstrated what it did, you know, during because of the atmospheric conditions, the effects of the atmosphere, things like that, or the air, the air, not the sphere. We don't have sphere-shaped air. But um, if we think about just how our eyes work, and when we go to the doctor, when we go to the eye doctor, or when we are, you know, renewing our driver's license and we have to take the eye test the eye exam and when they show us the rows of letters and they're getting smaller what are they doing they're getting smaller as they as you go down as you continue to go further and further down and they look further away because the letters the, you know the font is getting smaller and as you keep going down the chart what is actually showing you is distance because if you can make out something in the far distance because we know that as distance increases things tend to appear smaller okay because they are in your frame of reference and so the further they get from you they have that converging effect that goes further out into the distance and so they go into the vanishing point right so but people just don't really realize that or, or consider that when they're getting their eyes checked they're like okay well you can see that clearly and you know what or do you have 20 20 vision do you have this vision do you have that vision but it really is showing what um our eyes are doing as far as distance as the as the the closer something is to us we can make it out well depending on if you're nearsighted or farsighted so if things look clearer when you're when it's closer to you, that's called being, um, you have, what is it, nearsighted. You're nearsighted um, because you have a myopic view. But when things are further away into the distance, that means that and you can see things clearer then, then that is being uh, farsighted. Farsighted. So um, it's showing, it's talking about distance. It's not talking about whether something is located at the top or bottom. It's whether it's closer to you or further away. And so that is why um, a lot of people in the baller community, they just don't get it. You know, when you're telling them, okay, just like anything that's going away from you, that's why we do like the, the, the long hallways and the railroad tracks and how the sky looks, you know, when, when you're um, seeing the sun appearing to set to go down, but it's not, it's just going further out of view. They just don't get that. They don't get it. So I just wanted to see if, you know, m mentioning the eye chart, there are many different eye charts that they use to test your vision, but to, to go into the science behind that, how our eyes work, okay, how we observe things and why we see things that way because, you know, everyone has something with their eyes. You know, we, we see things differently, you know, physically because if there is something with your eyes, your, your eye muscles are not that strong or, you know, you have a, a genetic condition, you know, we just see things differently. So... I just wanted to kind of uh, re-explain that just because you see things with your eyes that way does not mean that it's actually that way in physicality or in reality. It just means that that is how you see it. That is how you view it. So um, I just wanted to, you know, have that little chart out here just to show, yes, the further things go out into the distance, it actually looks looks like or appears to be 
moving down or dropping, but it's not. Those things are not actually dropping. They are just moving further out into the distance. So I hope that that makes sense. And it kind of, you know, just shows you that how we, how we see things, how we see things physically, not what, but well, well, if you want to get deep, how we see things with our eyes, you know, because if you say, okay, yeah, well, everything that my eyes see is real. So that means that if I crossed my eyes right now like that, and I see two of everything that the room has, has contorted and, and everything, I have actually created two of everything. We know that that does not actually happen. We know that, you know, whatever we do with our eyes, or however our eyes see, that is because of that's how our eyes see. But that does not mean that it actually explains anything that we are actually seeing in reality. But if you're using that to interpret what you're seeing and you just have, you know, limited vision or you're not, you're not uh, factoring in all the problems that we have with our eyes, okay, and if you are just saying, oh, well, what I see, that's, that's the truth. That's what it really, really is. Okay, so you must think that, yes, the walls are converging. They are actually getting closer together as, as you know, the hallway continues down the, into the distance. Or you believe that um, the, that train has really shrunk down to that size going further out from, you know. So, it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like if we use that rule for, for that, you know, oh, well, no, the sun is actually going down. It's not going away. Back is going down. If we're actually going to say that, then we have to apply that rule to everything and for everything. You know, makes sense? Hopefully. It's not too far there. But, you know, that is just my little contribution to hopefully getting people to wake up to see our eyes. You know, no. Don't get it twisted, though. You know, we have to observe. We do observe things, okay? We, that is how, when we first see a, a, a phenomenon, natural phenomenon, and we observe it, then we have to form a hypothesis as to what we think the cause is and then test that, okay? So different from when we do observe something to, to interpret it, Okay, we have to, as far as our perspective, which is what my point was supposed to be earlier, the way we perceive things with our eyes physically and then how we perceive it in our minds, meaning how we take that information, um, interpret it, and try to figure out the cause and, and just um, test it out to, to find the cause. Those are two different things because if you're misinterpret, if you have a misinterpretation, or misperception as to why things do something already without um, just being neutral and then allowing, you know, the, the test to, to prove what it proves, you have already in your mind, um, you have a perception that the cause has already been determined or explained. And so then you will work backwards to get to that cause that you think is the cause. You know what I'm saying? So we just need to examine everything. You know, when we, when we are going to use our senses, um, we have to also know the limitation of our senses. You know, we can't know everything just by that. We have to actually um, test things, test it, and then be able to demonstrate it. To demonstrate it because if it's something that it is if you know if you are trying to find the root cause of, of anything and you test it out you test it out there are ways that you can do it okay just like Rob Skiba showed us you can actually show different conditions and and test things and use controls to test out why does it appear like the Sun is going down Rather than, oh, the sun is not going down, it's just going away, you know, and he was able to do that. So you can get very creative with how you demonstrate it, but there, there are ways that you can, you know, but when you have the, once again, a misperception and a misconception 
about something or you're basically blocking the other choices, the other options or possibilities. You know, you have just basically closed your mind off to those possibilities. So I'm going to end the video right here because I think I've spoken enough, but um, I just wanted to put that out there. I mean, that is basically how we're vi viewing things out in the distance, just like the eye chart. Things get smaller and they look like they're actually moving down when they're not. They're just moving further and further away from us into the distance. Well, thank you guys for joining me for another video. And again, my love, my prayers, my prayers and my just good thoughts and God's presence with everyone who is feeling this, you know, loss, this great loss of Rob Skiba, especially to his family, his wife, his child, and all of those that knew him. Well, until the next time, you guys take care, be blessed. And if you haven't, please subscribe today. Thank you.